Kevin? Reading some comments on YouTube? So, uh, hey, Kevin, um, would you please do the TIG video with this little machine, this little uh, Everlast 140? It's like, we've got a lot of people out here who'd like to see how that thing works. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's do a TIG video. So, this little uh, Power Arc 140 ST from Everlast. You know, I was playing with it the other day, playing with the stick welder side of it. it comes with a little TIG torch, and it's got this little knob on it right here. And that knob is to control your gas flow. So, unlike the bigger machines, this one, the gas for the torch, actually hooks up right to the bottle, right to the flow meter over there, and then you just control it right here. On the front of the machine, of course, if you had it set up for stick, you know, for arc welding, you would have your ground on the negative side, and you would have your stinger on the positive side. Well, for TIG, real, real easy to switch it over. The selector switch up here under the, under the amp knob, you know, it's uh, stick on the right side. You just flip it over to TIG on the left side. For the connectors on the front, I can find my ground. <laughs> of course, the ground connector would now go in the positive side, and the connector for the TIG, or for the torch, with its gas line hooked up to the bottle, that goes in the negative side. So the machine's all ready to go. Flip it on, get to work. One warning with this machine, because there's no trigger, there's no foot pedal for the TIG torch, as soon as you turn the machine on, that electrode is hot electrically. Don't set it down anywhere. Keep it in a holder or keep it in your hand, because the minute you touch it, it wants to get to work. Oh, yeah, get to work. So I've got my flow meter set to about 10 liters per minute, and... You can just control it right there. You just give it a bump with your finger, strike, you know, start your arc, and away you go. Now, starting the arc with this. It's, I was wrong the other day when I called it a scratch start. No, it's actually a lift start. So all you have to do, and right now the machine is off, you would just put your torch down, rock it over until your electro touches, and pick it up. Touch it and pick it up, and it starts, and you should be able to hold an arc that way, get to work. When you go to stop, because there's no trigger, you would just simply pull it away. Just rock it and pull it away, you know, whatever way happens to work the best for you. So let me grab my helmet, my gloves, and we'll make some sparks. So that little bobble right there at the end, <laughs> my fault, sorry. <laughs> I, I went to pull it away and hit the, hit the knob at the same time to shut the gas off, so it just kind of went blah all at once. Um, unfamiliar equipment, you know, definitely practice, 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 practice. But yeah, come here, check out the weld. It actually did a really nice little job. So that's where I started right there. Forgot to turn the gas on. <laughs> And then ran along there, and that's where I kind of goofed when I pulled my hand away, went to pull my hand away. But you can see it does a nice little job. So that's what the machine said at about uh, 90 amps, I think it was. 
and running a 332nd quad four tungsten from the good guys over at HTP Welding and plugged into 220. You know, working on a little piece of eighth inch plate I just pulled out of the scrap bucket, you know, clean up all the edges, clamp it down and what have you. But, boy, I can see a use for that little machine. Uh, you know, working outside, you know, with a stick welder or something, boy, real easy, just throw it on your shoulder like a big purse and, you know, drag you an extension cord along with you. You're out there, you know, building a fence or something like that, and you're work going from spot to spot to spot. You know, you couldn't really do it with the TIG, simply because now you're dragging a bottle on the other shoulder, but, you know, a handy little machine. You know, I, I could see where, where that would work for a lot of different purposes. So I'm going to play with this one some more. Uh, push it a little harder, I think. You know, see if we can see what we can actually make it do. And uh, you guys are going to reach right down there and hit that subscribe button for me. And don't forget to come back next week and see what I'm doing now. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you next time. Let me get my helmet. We'll make a little spark.